Good day students, we are now going to discuss lesson number 2 of module number 1 which is entitled Basketball. The main objective of these lessons are number 1, to know the basketball background, rules which includes um, officiating and basic skills that will focus on the different drills of basketball. Number 2 is to appreciate and understand the importance of knowing the rules and the skills involved as an intention of indulging oneself to sports activities. And number three, practice and execute the basic training drills of basketball. Now, I will be discussing the different fouls and violations in basketball. In playing any sport, it is essential to know the hand signals or gestures delivered by the officiating officials. Um, it is their way of communicating to the players when rules are followed or violated. Here are the basketball violation hand signals. Number 1. Traveling When a player has committed a traveling violation, the official will signal it by placing both of his hands in front of him and moving them in a circle. Number two is carrying or palming the ball. In order to signal a palming or carrying violation, the referee will have one hand at the side, flip over from palm up to palm down. Number three is double dribble. The official will signal a double dribble violation by putting both of his hands in front of him with palms down and alternating them up and down as if dribbling a basketball. Number four is the three seconds violation. The official will indicate that a player has committed a three seconds violation by having three fingers raised and the hand makes a sweeping motion back and forth at the side. The next one is the 5 seconds violation. In order to signal a 5 seconds violation, the official will have 5 fingers raised with arm extended upward. Number 6, 10 seconds violation. The 10 seconds violation is shown when the official has 10 fingers raised with both arms extended upwards. Number 7 is the kickball violation. When a player kicks the ball, the, the referee will have one foot raised in front. The next one is the jump ball. When an offensive player and a defensive player gain possession of the ball at the same time, the referee will blow the whistle. Number 9 is the lane violation. If a player is shooting a free throw and a lane violation occurs, the referee will signal it by raising one of his arms out to his side and holding it there until the free throw is completed. Now we have here the basketball foul signals. Number one is the player control foul or the charging foul. One hand on the back of the head and the other pointing in the opposite direction of the play indicates a charge call has been made. Number two is the blocking foul. If a defensive player commits a blocking foul, the official will have both hands in fists, touching his hips and his elbows in tight against his body. The next one is the holding foul. The holding signal is made by having one arm extended upwards in front of the face and the other hand grabbing the wrist. Number 4 is the pushing foul. To signal a pushing foul, the official will have both hands extended straight in front of him with his palms facing outward. Number 5 is the intentional foul. When a player commits an intentional foul, the official will put both arms above his head and cross them. Number 6 is the technical foul. To signal a technical foul, the referee will place both of his hands in front of him and put them in the formation of a letter T. The next one is the double foul. 
If two players have committed a foul at the same time, the referee will put both hands in fists extended outwards the sides. And the last foul is the illegal hand use or we call it illegal use of hands. An illegal hand use foul is called by the officiating officials by putting both of his hands in front of him at waist level and grabbing one of his wrists with the other hand. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening and I'll see you on the next video.